So far, we have just compiled and run one dot scalar file. If we are working on a big project, having hundreds of source files, it becomes really tedious to compile all of these files manually. We need a build tool to manage such compilations of larger projects. SBT is a build tool for Scala and Java projects similar to Java's Maven or Ant. SBT is already installed on CloudX Lab, so you can compile your Scala project directly on it. Let us understand how to use SBT to build a Scala project. We have provided a sample code on the CloudX Lab GitHub repository. Clone the CloudX Lab GitHub repository in your home folder in the CloudX Lab web console. This will create CloudX Lab folder in your home directory. Now go to that directory. To update a previously cloned repository, you can simply run git pull origin master. Since I have already cloned the repository, I will just update it. Now go to scala slash sbt directory. Let's look at build.sbt file. Build.sbt file lists all the source files your project consists of, along with other information about your project. SBT will read the file to understand what to do to compile the entire project. Besides managing the project, SBT automatically manages the dependencies. This means that if we need to use some libraries written by others in our project, SBT can automatically download the right version of those libraries and include those in your project. As you can see, the name of our project is Hello, version of the project is 1.0, and the Scala version required for the project is 2.11. Dot eight. We do not have any dependencies here. We will show you how to include dependencies in the Spark streaming project. Also, please note that all the Scala files must be in the directory src main Scala. You can see that we have hello underscore world dot Scala file inside src slash main slash Scala directory. Let's run the project. Type sbt run from the root of your project. It will run the main class of the project. And hello world would be printed on the screen.